Alrighty, folks, so what is going on today? We are going to be going in with some uh, Vindred stun, zombie stun. Uh, and as you can see, this hand is very disgusting. Um, this hand is actually really, really good. I, I enjoy oh, okay. Alright, I mean, there's absolutely shit we can do against that, but we do have a trap tricks. Oh, there's a unit zombie. We do have a trap trick, so that's that's cool. Um, we'll set this as well, and then we'll just set it, you know, because the, the people just play random shit, man. People just play random shit, and, you know, we can't do anything about it, so that's completely fine. Uh, who is he attacking with? Because he's gonna, he, he, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him take that young. I'm gonna let him take that, and I'm gonna see what he has in store for us today. Um, end phase, no, we're gonna end phase do this, though. Definitely gonna end phase do this. We're gonna go ahead and set the swallow slash right there and then we're going to hit him with the young swallow slash so he can have fun um not being able to play Yu-Gi-Oh because you use a punk and then we're going to use that and we're going to draw a card and discard a card hold on folks give me a second all right folks we're back we're going to uh ooh, the unit zombie goes straight to the graveyard Ooh, he drew another trap tricks yeah we're, we're we're in it like swimmer folks and sadly i've took out my level sevens Took out my level sevens. It's gonna hurt. Solemn Strike. That is completely fine because we do have this monster reborn. I think that I want to play first. Yeah, let's play monster reborn first, so we can give him. Oh, we can reborn his Inspector Border, but that won't be too good. We're just gonna get the Unit Zombie out, and then here, if we're able to resolve this, we're just gonna send probably Goblin Zombie. Oh, yeah, Goblin Zombie is going straight to the graveyard. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna. You're just gonna win from here pretty much. Yeah, we're just gonna soul charge for three. <laughs> and he's probably gonna pick up his cards now. No, he does not. So we're gonna go Hound Horde. We're gonna put that over there because I don't think it really matters. Um, Solitaire is actually gonna be pretty important. So we're gonna put that right there. And for some reason, we're gonna get that over there. Like I said, oh wait, no, I didn't take out the seven? <gasps> yeah, oh yeah. We didn't take out the seven, so we're able to really just capitalize so what we can do oh no we have to use these two so i think here we go summon sorcerers first to search a card right and then we can use uh we can use do i i wonder if i want to do solitaire first i think i do solitaire first right solitaire and mazuki i mean goblin zombie we we're able to put something right there i think yeah i think that's I think that's correct here um and then what we can do with this situation is that we can go ahead and grab ourselves a mizuki i believe yeah we can grab a mizuki um and then what we can do here i don't know why i grabbed a mizuki that was pretty bad but it's okay um we're able to go into a shogun si of a spirit saga because spirit saga is just a is just a card that you just want to play um my god is this card so fucking good i really do appreciate it we're going to banish that all monsters gain 300 and we're going to pop a spell and trap there's a mirror force so we're going to bring out Spiritualist here. Um, yeah, we'll summon Spiritualist. Um, I really do want the Sucker's Draw, but if I bring him back Border, I don't think that's I don't think that's too smart. I don't think it's smart to bring back Border here. Um, so sadly, we're going to have to uh, probably... Actually, no, we can go Unicorn. Yeah, we can go Unicorn and then do Mizuki. Yeah. Uh, that's actually that actually works we actually just could have did what that that was this is actually a bad play this is actually just a very bad play folks because what i should have did was instead of going to three i should have went to the two no 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 we, we can get out of this watch this folks watch how we do this one um and then we're gonna go dino miscus <laughs> because dino miscus is the card of the day we're gonna use that we're gonna grab ourselves a vendra core and then what we're going to do is use Hound Horde's effect to ditch to special summon right there. Change it to a dinosaur. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we change type. Change it to a dinosaur, right? Ain't it a dinosaur? Yes, it is. It is a dinosaur. Uh, and then now we're able to go summon Sorceress using these two right there. And then we're able to use target this to bring back. Um, we can actually bring out Banshee. Um, but I want to go skull deep, so we're gonna get out Mizuki here. I want to go skull deep because 
I feel like that one's pretty cool. And then we're gonna banish this to get a free, just to get another free draw, which is just amazing. And don't forget, we still haven't used Sucker yet. Oh my God, what a draw. So now we get to go straight into a Skull and We get to draw four. Well, let's see what we draw here. There's a pre-prep and there's a burial. All right, and we have a rivalry, so we can put back one, two. Oh, fuck. Do pre-prep go back? I think pre-prep actually goes back there because burial is important and rivalry is pretty much the point of this game. But then pre-prep can actually get us to where we need to get because we still do have a Mizuki in the graveyard. Actually, I don't even think we need pre-prep to be... No, no, I don't think we need burial. I think we put burial back. Yeah, I think we do. We're going to put Burial back because, like I said, I do want to actually do... Okay, that was not <laughs> that what I was supposed to do. Um, we're going to grab this and a Slayer. And then, yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, like I said, we do have a Mizuki in the grave. So we're going to bring back Mizuki real quick. Uh, then we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to pretty much put... Uh, what's the name on the board here? Uh, we're going to summon Slayer. And we, we can't forget that we do have, uh, we're going to tribute Goblin Zombie and Mizuki. We can't forget that we do have a uh, what's the name in the graveyard. Um, this doesn't really matter. And I know what you guys wonder. Why is it 50 cards? Folks, I don't fucking know. Um, see, look, now we can go Sunset. And sunset is very important because we can recur the Mizuki. Um, but then once again, if we do get Sunset, we're not able to really do what we want to do. So here, we're going to just grab a Gozuki. So we can special summon it off of this and then probably send a, a third Mizuki here. Yeah, we're going to send our third Mizuki. Um, and maybe this isn't the correct play, but like I said, we're going to end. Okay, there we go. We get it. We get a quit. All right. So there we go. Um, yeah, I was supposed to talk about the deck, but I didn't. So we'll talk about it next duel. All right, here we go. Uh, the deck is 50 because once again, I like to test out stuff. Um, this definitely is not going to stay 50 because as you can see, these hands aren't the greatest hands of all time, but they're, they're decent hands. There's a fossil dig. So that's that's upsetting um we could definitely play around him i can tell you that much oh there's a lost world that's really upsetting now because i can't target his monsters correct um yeah i can't target a monster on the side of the field but i'm pretty sure i can get rid of my uh yeah because i played link karibo so i could just link i can just go into link karibo correct yeah, we just go straight into a Lin Karibo. Then I can normal summon Stridus and then go uh, probably Cerberus and pop and then special summon. And then set. It depends on what we draw. We can set a Swallow Slash. Um, if we draw something like Must Reborn, we'll just discard this. Um, yeah, if we draw something like uh, Pre Prep, uh, we can. We can do some things. We can do some things here. But uh, yeah, let's see what our opponent has in store for. But yeah, that's why it's at 50 right now. Uh, I just want to test out a bunch of stuff and see how that works. It may not be great because I may draw bad. But so far, we've been drawing decent. Um, but yeah, this deck idea comes from Billy. Uh, Billy, uh, my man, uh, he's, he wanted to see how Executor would work. Like I could do all my Vendra shenanigans and then end on Rivalry and Executor. So only Executor is able to be targeted. Um, more likely than not, you'll probably be you, to get to executor. You have to like have another origin in hand, so that's it's pretty difficult to really do. But um, it's I mean it's possible, but it's just very difficult to do. Um, if we're doing uh, most, if we're doing uh, what's the name plays, like if we're doing um, what do you call it? If we're going to do the like the shenanigans, you're not going to have another origin to use. Um, unless we uh, like dedicate the whole deck to it and throw some like preparations or something in here um, Which you know I was thinking about but more more likely than not they don't really do anything like pre prep gets you to your combo So that's why I like to play that card and then like um, The like I said, there's like, we have to throw like Mandrews and shit in here And then actually this deck would be a lot better if we played Avenger as Savior because Avenger as Savior gets us automatic access to the origin and then we're able to just like do the combo there, but we could end on uh what's the name we can literally go slayer um did you really discard an ash because you really need to do that um that's pretty bad but you only play one why would you oh oh including this card i was about to say why would you oh you're going trish oh okay okay and you're going you're going vfd okay all right 
that's work that's workable that's workable he must have what's the name in his hand i hope we banish sunset all right no we didn't want to banish that but um that's 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 okay we'll, we'll roll with that one we'll roll with that one we ain't gonna cry that's what we ain't gonna do um vfd really doesn't matter um uh, because like i said we can just literally just break its whole entire fucking board next turn there's a mizuki now that that made this hand just broken um and once again that doesn't we can't target any monsters yeah, we can't target any monsters, and then now we can't use any what's the name effects, but like I said, we'll just link into a Link Karibo and set Sunset, and then uh, yeah, I think we're just good. Man, Swallow Slash is such a fucking good card. I seen a deck that um, it topped in, I think, Brazil. I, I don't want to be, I, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is in Brazil, but wait, can this protect any, wait, once turn for normal monster on the field, be sure, okay. All right, so it can't protect the uh, what's the name, so it can't protect uh, the, big, the big zombies. Um, oh, this is kind of difficult. Hmm, let's see here. What do I do? What the fuck do I do in this situation? Because if I chain this, right? He's probably not even probably. I know it's definitely what he's going to do right now. If I chain this and pop VFD in Lost World, I mean, fuck it. Let's just do this. I know. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do this. And we're just going to keep the token. Um, that's the best thing we can do. He can't protect it. So, yeah, like I said, VFD. Oh, wait, never mind. We're taking damage here. Um, okay, my opponent's possession. Yeah, so we, we technically, he, he should call fire. Why would you not call fire? That was dumb. Like you, you literally could have just caught fire and then got what you want. So here, what he's gonna do is search that one fucking card, like the fucking best card of all time, that ten star. He's gonna banish Rex and shit and bring it, bring it back, and yeah, this is gonna be able to do some funky shit. I don't think we lose here, but possibly. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a pre. -pre oh no, no, we win. We win here, as long as we don't draw the fucking one Slayer I play. Yes, I only play one Slayer. Testing, bro. This is what testing is all about. Um, yes, yeah, so he's gonna do that. Um, this is uh, this is uh, difficult. This is difficult. We definitely can take. He's probably going to attack um, Link Karibo with Giant Rex because he can't attack directly. Um, I don't know why people do that. Yeah, T told you, like, just people do like weird stuff like that because they know it can't attack directly, and so like they do that. Like, they will attack only with Giant Rex, like, they'll attack with Giant Rex just to get the Western name in. Oh, that works? Well, I thought they're negated. I'll take a thousand. I won't I won't I won't take a I won't take a link rebo to the face. Um that was weird. Why would you do that? Okay. So what we can do here, ooh, ooh. Um we can Mizuki. I know what to do here. Watch this. So we're gonna pre prep first. We have origin and one slayer. Yes, we only play one slayer, folks. It's all right. So we're gonna normal summon this. He's forced. He's forced to do this. He's forced to use the Tyranno, which is fine, folks. This is it's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. He's forced to use it, and it's okay. Like I said, it's it's okay. He's probably gonna pop the card in his hand or something. Yeah, I told you. Uh, I see, man. See, I, I tell you this all the time, folks. I th this is what I'm talking about. I told you about the giant Rex play, people. I, I don't know why he did it in hindsight. He's probably gonna think why the fuck did I do that? And he's probably gonna quit here because like I'm about to just whoop his ass like he's he's completely dead I'm I'm I might just I might take his Tyrannal. I might take his Tyrannal just for the fuck of it Actually, I can't take his Tyrannal, right? I don't play that other card <laughs> But we do play Spirit Saga and Spirit Saga is a is a broken fucking card. All right, so here we just have the absolute, just this, the absolute fucking things to just go off and whip our opponent's ass here. Um, so what we're gonna do here is just do the standard zombie plays because this man was definitely mistaken thinking he was gonna beat us. Um, that pre-prep was really good. So yeah, I'm also testing one evolution. Um, yes, it is very dangerous, folks. 100% very fucking dangerous. Um, don't even, don't even get at me with all that because. Like, this is just probably the most dangerous fucking game we can ever play. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to call... I don't think monsters really matter. Um, we're going to call spells because I believe if I summon a dinosaur, right? 
if a dinosaur we're just gonna call spells because um just in case i go reproductus i don't want um nothing to really resolve um i'm not gonna go reproductus but i'm just changing just in case folks but he's about lord excuse me i'm gonna use the battle lord to go ahead and grab us the executor so now we have our lock set up our strides was already banished so that's a that's a that's a very big problem but don't worry folks we do play vendra core which is just amazing and then you know what we can do we can just banish the solitaire for free we can just banish the solitaire for free and solitaire is going to bring back our favorite fucking card of all time sunset we're going to bring back sunset because sunset is just amazing and then we're going to target this young man and we're going to get ourselves out a what's the name what do you want to call him there's the goblin zombie so here like i said we can go uh we can go phoenix we can go phoenix first to discard the pop and oh my god this card is so fucking good you guys are gonna see the use do i not play cerberus i know i do play cerberus there we go we do play cerberus we're gonna keep the cerberus for a later game so what we're gonna do first is go straight into a phoenix phoenix is going to go ahead and we can discard this zombie right and then what this does it puts back the mizuki to the deck and we can just set it you see how fucking busted this card is god i always wanted to play this card always forever wanted to play this card we're going to just put back the mizuki for free we're just going to put back the mizuki for free and set up a banish already on the turn so here we're going to grab us another mizuki because we're just we're just like i said we're just going to feast a beast all over our opponent right now we're going to grab ourselves a what's the name and like i said man this is this is just where it's at man i can't wait for avenger and savior we already got what's the name out so that's cool uh, we're going to go straight into a griffin and right now we're just going to get multiple and multiple and we're going to set the swallow slash because why not <laughs> we're going to just set the swallow slash because why not folks my god played around our opponent called out everything he's done my god it, it just feels good man it's when you when you play Yu-Gi-Oh for this long man you, you get this you get your second you get your intuitive things especially when you play on Yu-Gi-Oh pro you get intuitive things of what the person is going to do just like, I mean, I, you know, just like the Giant Rex play. He seen that he couldn't attack directly. So his mindset went to, if I can't attack directly, I might as well get the attack in on Link Karibo right now while I can. And passed up 3,500 damage, right? So he passed up 1,100 more because he could have attacked Link Karibo, did 35, and then attacked this and did 1,000. So that was 45 instead of only doing 34. And you never know. I might have actually lost because of that or something like that. And then Return of the Zombie, man. I love this card. So why did they change the name? Did anybody see that? Like, this is why I wanted to play, uh, what is it, that uh, Mind Control one? I wanted to play the Mind Control one because of that interaction. This does it a little bit better. No, actually, uh, no, this one, I like it a lot because the fact is when we get Zombie World on our field, this is a non-targetable banish. And your opponent can special summon from the graveyard. So if we have Sucker, it triggers Sucker. Um, it also, like, Juice Shell, uh, what's the name? And then if you, if you use it for the first time, it goes to your graveyard. And then in your graveyard, you can shuffle something back and set it again for next turn which is so fucking busted i really don't understand why the mind control isn't like that they made the mind control once per turn for both effects so if you use one you can't use the other but this card man it is fantastic and then griffin getting back swallow slash he was i didn't have no more even zombie i mean no i had yeah i still had two solitaires never mind i was about to say i didn't even have an Elisa, uh Shiri Nui in the deck but my god yeah it was nothing then we were just going to end on executor so he's not able to target anything even though he does have a non-targetable thing he's not able to uh twin twister he's not able to use soul over even raptor like he can't target anything on the field right oh my only i only eye control so yeah yeah that was talk too much shit and okay never mind i thought we was going to get a game two he decided he wants to quit even though he set up the match He's upset. Uh, actually, no. I think he quit because I took two goddamn long. Anyway, here's the deck. Here's the deck list, folks. Like I said, it's at 50 because we're testing. I want to see. I really, what I'm really peculiar about is this setup right here: the Executor, two Battle Lords, and Slayer. I want to see how this works. You really typically don't need two Slayers. Um, the reason why I play two Slayers in most decks is because I didn't play Executor. But since we're playing Executor, you could just substitute. You just basically. You just want, you, you, not, not, I'm not even going to say what I was just about to say, but 
you don't really need two slayers pretty much in this type of deck or in the deck that i i, I usually play you just want to use it once and then you know later on you can i mean if you need another one i mean it's in the graveyard you're just trying to use it for its combo potential but the the thing about vendreds is that they really really are awful without the other pieces so you want to minimize excuse me want to minimize the amount of vendreds you can draw at any given time we're only playing seven monsters and we're playing three spells um so that's only 10 cards um out of 40 that is a big number but you really but you want to draw you definitely want to draw these though so as basically seven cards you do not want in your hand so like i said we have to minimize it as much as possible so i'm trying to figure out a ratio you definitely need double battle lord because it's just it's just too good this card right here man this card is so good it, it won me so many games it saved me so many times the 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 the, the, the what's the name the, the the stun is so good and then using it with evolution is just even better because you don't have to use any cards in your hand so yeah i'm just like i said like, the, the, that's the only thing wrong with the vendreds is that you cannot use them by themselves like i said rituals are rituals so i mean that's that's the understatement but like the core strategies and hound horde they're just not good on their own and they really break your hands no i do not play foolish burial i could but I just choose not to. Um, most of the time, this card really doesn't do anything unless I have another card. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it for right now. I'll be back in a couple of, uh, of hours. So, stay tuned, folks. Once again, this is just a test deck. So, we're going to just be testing this. And then we're going to be going on um, and making changes uh, over the weekend. Or, you know, you guys leave me comments and stuff. I'll make the changes and stuff like that but besides that thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys want to help the channel out links are in the description down below besides that thank you very much i will see you guys in a couple of hours stay tuned